California dreaming. California dreaming. California's going down the drain. So, everybody, how's Cal? How's everybody in California doing right now? You know, between your earthquake you had recently, the fires, the new taxes that the governor has pushed through, as well as the rolling blackouts. <clears throat> yeah. California, what's wrong with you? I mean, I was there back, I left California back in 2012 when I got out of the Marines. I tried to stay out there as long as I could. Mistake on my part, I will admit. But when I was there, the difference for just gas between California and my home state of Arkansas was roughly about a dollar. Yeah, about a dollar. Difference now, two dollars for gas. Unleaded. Okay. Like, seriously. Why, are, why is everybody in California still electing the same party? Oh, hey, this guy, this guy's a Democrat. And he says he's going to do something different. Let's vote for him. Okay, yeah, seriously, y'all been ran by Democrats for how many decades now? And it's still going down the drain. Rent for a studio apartment. A studio. Not a one bedroom, but a studio apartment. When I was out there in 2012, the cheapest I could find was a thousand dollars. One thousand dollars. I'm sorry, I make that end up every two weeks. I wouldn't have any money to take care of the bills, food, gas, uh, utilities. I wouldn't have anything left. I mean, back then, 2012, rent for a studio apartment here in Arkansas, somewhere between $350 and $400. And that's for a good studio apartment, okay? So a $600 difference. And like I said, the one in California, that $1,000 one, was, yeah, questionable. Like, let me put it like this. We have ghettos here in Arkansas where typically a two-bedroom is... Where I live is between five to six hundred dollars, maybe seven if it's extremely nice and it has a pool and everything else. But that's for a two bedroom, and out here in Arkansas, if you're in the ghetto, the hood, for a two bedroom, it's about four hundred and fifty bucks. $450 for a two-bedroom. Okay. California. Between all the diseases that is popping up, yes, you got Ebola. How? How do you have Ebola? I mean, seriously. Yes, seriously, look it up. There are places in California where Ebola has been found. Last time, last time I checked, Ebola was in Africa. In the, the okay, I am avoiding that area, part of Africa. I mean, come on. Y'all decided to set up centers for addicts to shoot up. Because it's safer. I'm sorry, no. Once y'all did that, I knew y'all were going to go downhill rapidly. And now y'all complaining about homeless on the streets, needles all over the place, 
freaking diseases, trash all over the place. Look, y'all are doing it yourselves. Voting in the same party day in, day out, and expecting them to change. They're not going to change. Like, seriously, try a different party. Go third party, go Republican, something besides Democrats. Democrat, the Democratic Party, your Democratic representatives have been strangling you. When I was in Cal, when I was in Cali, yes, I was enlisted. Yes, I was in the Marines. Yes, I was in SoCal. Beautiful area, by the way. Um, just avoid the sun, sun spots, and you'll be golden. I would avoid LA at all costs. A little backstory on that, anyway. But the beaches were beautiful. The weather was always nice. I could actually get a tan for once. Yes, coming from a guy who lives in Arkansas, where it rains a good amount. Now, some of the problems, now to fix the whole wildfire problem, best thing to do, let the for, let um, Wildlife Administration actually do controlled burns. That's the problem. Y'all, y'all I forgot who it was. Which governor, which representative it was for y'all in California that decided to do away with controlled burns. Controlled burns, all they do is get rid of all the dead trees, all the dead leaves, everything that can catch fire easily. Y'all have been going through a drought for pretty much a decade and a half to two decades now and y'all got rid of controlled burns three decades ago and y'all complain about these wildfires popping up y'all are not doing proper prevention y'all are not doing proper forest maintenance you have to do a controlled burn every so often that's what we do here in Arkansas. We have controlled burns. Pretty much, they'll take a section of an area, the Wildlife Administration, they'll section off an area. They will do their best to get the animals out of the area. And they'll burn all the foliage. Because if you actually look in past wildfires, you actually have areas that, did, that are still green. Now, still nice. It's not because it rained. No. It's because that they, those areas, there was no foliage. There's no dead foliage for, it, for the fires to ignite. And y'all haven't done that. Not to mention, all of these, um, another way to fix the whole water situation y'all have been having, the drought. Have it where um, you collect more of the rainwater, more of the runoff from the mountains, for when the ice melts from the mountains that go through California, that go into the ocean. You collect, last time I checked, about, I believe it was 38 to 40 percent of it. You're letting up to... You're letting like 60% fresh water go into the ocean. And y'all are complaining about not having enough water to water your lawn. Really? Why? Y'all have done this to yourselves. It just... It makes me want to go crazy with everything that y'all have done to cause all these problems to happen. I mean, look at my home state of Arkansas. Yes, we're in the south. We get plenty of rain. We're close to the, we're pretty close to the Gulf of Mexico. So we get rain pretty much half the year. 
So we really don't have to worry about wildfires that ha happening that often. So, not to mention uh, the whatever runoffs we get, we do collect up to, I believe, 60, maybe 75% of it. That's if we do collect it, because we have plenty of water in the ground after it rains. Like real, like Arkansas has been known. I've seen it happen. The water levels will be low for drinking. The groundwater will be getting low. And then next thing you know, hey, we get two weeks of constant rain. Now with a couple little breaks here and there, but hey, who not going into full detail, but we get plenty of rain here in Arkansas. We don't have to worry about it. We don't worry about wildfires because we actually do control burns when it's needed to get rid of the dead foliage. And we have more trees here in Arkansas than in California. Don't say there's more trees in California, okay? I've been in California for four, for four and a half years. I literally had somebody who lived in California their entire life. They came out here and they said they've never seen so much trees. They've never seen so much in an area. I'm just like, really? And how much of California have you been in? They told me they've been all over California. And they ain't never seen so much tree, so many trees. So don't say it's because of climate change. No, it's because of all these restrictions you have put on the uh, Wildlife Administration and all of the other agencies out there that are to whose job is to prevent wildfires. Y'all have caused this. Earthquakes, hey, that's a totally different question. That's tectonic plates breaking up, and hey, big one's coming anyway. Just like the big one here in my home state. Yeah, you think you got big? Yeah. If you, you live in California, you think you have a fault line? Hey, look up New Madrid. Okay? You ain't seen no fault line until you've seen the New Madrid fault line. That thing covers pretty much you can fit Texas and California in it. Okay, that's my rant for the day. Peace.